What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we made it to Mercury Lighthouse. Oh, that was close. And uh, we got a new party member, Mia. She's joining us to, on our way through here to see what's going on in the lighthouse, because we saw a giant flash from it. And we also know there's more travels here, and it's very scary. Uh, so trust me on this, you're actually going to want to go this way for this. It's just here. If we go this way... Actually, reach a secret chest. Yeah. Are you also a mimic? I'm no suspicious of all. Just no, just a freaking sleep bomb. And you're so freaking close to be able to just jump because we gotta go that way. We just can't do it. <sighs> so the game actually makes us have to go that way. There's no way to make it anywhere besides that way. So very poopy. Gonna go back this way. Get along the rings. Take a refresh. Freaking I'm patient. I'm an impatient one. You god danger. Gosh danger. <laughs> Instead of going left this time, I'll go up this way. Easy babe puzzles, which I feel like were certainly not easy on this kid. Yeah, we don't need that block. We could jump over that way. The reason why that's there is if you want to go back. You do not want to go back though, so push forward. There's actually some new enemies in here that we haven't seen yet. I'm really hoping to see soon. It's a pain to not see them. Right, this is for you. There are, I, yeah, there are actually some new enemies in here that I, I'm waiting to see. Very surprised we haven't seen them yet. They might not actually show up till later in the lighthouse, I don't think. Because I don't think when I practiced, I saw them either. I don't really have a whole lot of memories of seeing them. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, as you can see, there's also these blocks here. Do not hop to that one. Oh, yeah. I think if we would have, right by the staircase there, I think if we would have hopped to the top left one there, we would not have been able to make it. Even though it kind of looks like you can make it, you cannot. Um, that uh, also leads to the entrance of the lighthouse. That's another shortcut there if you want to leave. But the question is, is there anything in this one? There's not. Okay, fine. Okay, fine then! Got an empty one with a lion head? I don't know why there are lions for. Why? Why are you lying? Why are you always lying? We... Oh, we can't. Interesting. I couldn't think of it. Oh, yeah, there's... my actually has another thing. So, for us, what we can use in battle, we can also use it in game as well, or outside of battle. Ooh, red background. Nice. Um, has no effect using like that. Perhaps when we see some water lately. Not not this water, but other water we use it. When I was younger, I would always like try to do this puzzle, so I would only I would do it like every piece of the pipe. Like it had to be like this one first, make the water flow this way, then I'd have to connect this one. I don't know why. I was a weird child. It was like a weird like OCD thing almost. Like it has to be in a certain order. The order like the game wants you to do it, but not even, but like, you know. The order of progression, I suppose. Hey, and connecting the water pipes lets that lion head flow some more water. Interesting uh, thing to flow the water for some reason. Pump the pump the pipes. Pump the water. We can head upstairs. No, get out of here, gnome girl. We don't want you. We ain't want you in here. We want you dead and killed and killed. <laughs> uh, if, they all, if only they didn't stop me from running. Uh, so you had upstairs here, we see there's a statue in a hole, so you could probably figure out what you need to do. But, we can't get in there, so we gotta use these pipes for advantage. So you can see there's three pipes coming out of the wall here, and if you would follow each pipe to the end, you'd see that each pipe leads to a certain pipe at the end that would push the water. So if we push this to the end, so that pushes through there. And then we will now need we now need that top pipe to be able to push water, right? Oh yeah, look at that, we do. So we need to push that pipe back to where it was. Really, I don't remember it being this way, but okay. Now okay, we just gotta follow the pipe path. So we push this to the ends. Push the statue. Oh, some strong. What if I just knock the statue over and just ruin everything? So now we just gotta use the one pipe we haven't used so far, which kind of is annoying because we gotta run away though. But on the plus side, there's no enemy encounters in here. Q enemy encounter right now, just to spite me, to smite me. But no, there, there isn't. Yeah, so that's that's a useless one. But we need that we need it in the in the face of progress. Oh, okay, good, we can. Wow. This is another thing right here. It does not look like you'd be able to run through that, right? It looks like it'll be blocked off. It's the weird perception thing. And if you finally push this this way, yeah, and file. 
<laughs> Thankfully, everything's lining up, Rick. I don't think it will have the strength to lift that if it fell. All right, so there, as you can imagine, it's pretty much a solution right there. Just gonna push this back. And you know what? Just to be fancy. I wonder if Isaac alone is pushing the statue, or if everyone is also helping him push it. It's a mystery to everybody. Mm, mysterious statue, hey. I will not fall for you, mysterious statue. Aha! What lies beyond here? Treasure chest. Isaac gave another Garrett! <laughs> and this one. Whoa! What is on the ground right here? It looks like a glitch, doesn't it? I actually don't know. I don't know what that is. I like, guess it's just a weird. I mean, it's right there, too, at the top of the ladder. I never noticed that before. I mean, here's another like ruined section of the lighthouse for some unknown reason. There's another section where Mia wouldn't have been able to get by either. She don't have the ability to move stuff. Get that door, get on the floor. That church chest would have taunted me if I didn't just get it. But you know, no, it was a pretty obvious puzzle. So we're gonna install on bad version. So it's actually kind of possible to get stuck here. Not really. I mean, we could do that, but we could just push that back and forth. I don't even know why I really showed that. <laughs> That's another thing I was, I was like, I wonder what happened. I could get stuck here. That's cool. It's like a retractable wall that you use like water to force it by. No oh, good. The more waterfalls we have to test every single one of. There we go. A siren. So this is actually one the main enemy of the dungeon. She's like one of the strongest. She's a very beautiful looking woman. But don't fall for her looks. She will trap you and murder you. She also has a nice. Oh, I thought those are belly buttons, but no. She has a nice breasts. Wait, wait, what? No, no, no. Uh, just actually attack. If we get like that witch wands unleash, maybe put her to sleep. That'd be awesome. Wow, that was fast. Geez, she died fast. Uh, sirens. Uh, they have they're level ten. They have 116 HP. They drop 56 gold and 45 experience points. Um, they have a 6.25 percent chance of dropping crystal powder. They have the ability to sleep. Uh, Heart Render, which drops your attack by one person by 25%, and they can also use Froth, which is water-based energy. Uh, this is now level 10, Squire. Master the, the Squire's Cure Well. Maximum HP by, uh, goes up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 1, agility by 4, 56 coin. You won this one? I sure did. So, we now got a new spell, Cure Well, which we can use outside of battle. Um, so... At the cost of 7 PP, we could actually heal 150 HP and versus 3 PP to heal 7 HP. So, we could heal over... Wow. Oh wow, we could heal over double for... Well, no, we could heal, heal over double for um, for an additional 4 PP. I actually figured it out though, I did this math before because I was actually curious. It cost, uh, for every PP you use, you heal about 23 HP using Cure, and for every... Uh, cure well use you heal about 21 HP per PP point, so it's actually more efficient to use the base cure, the first one to get. I thought that was interesting. It's like you think it'd be more cost effective, but no, it's not. It's less cost effective. And here's the first, um, here's the first uh, Mercury Jin we could see in the field besides the one we got from Mia. There, we're gonna do that real quick. All right, let's see what we got here. He jumps onto the wall. Spider Man, Spider Man, Mercury Ginny appeared. It's cool that they don't tell you their names after you uh, beat them. I'll do this real quick. Hopefully, he won't run away. I'll give you the stats of him in a second. Let's see if we get the release to happen here. Flint. So, this guy, do I have it written down here? I should. There we go. Um, I actually could not figure out his level. Ooh, wow, stun voltage. That's why I want it. Oh, I didn't stun him though. Dangers. Rapid Delusion, though, which is really good if he decides to attack. Uh, here will actually do fine. Or. You know what? Oh, mm, this is actually kind of sketchy. We'll try it out, though. You'll see what happens. Do that. I don't know. Well, let's use Volcano. And you, boost resistance, which will in turn deal less damage, and will heal. Oh god, but Ivan could uh, potentially go down this turn as well. Hopefully he doesn't. I don't know how fast he is, so... Don't, couldn't figure out the level for this guy, I could find no information on that. Oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> of course he hit two of Delusion, you're not supposed to be able to hit very well with that. Oh, he felled him, okay, so... Um, he has 290 HP, he has 151 gold, uh, drops 130 experience points, 
He has Prism, which we have not seen yet, Tundra, uh, he has Drench, Frost Spear, and he also has the ability to flee. But, doesn't matter anymore, because we felt him. Uh, I was not level 10, Wind Seer, maximum HP by 7, maximum PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, agility by 4, 151 coin tribe. So I haven't discussed this yet, but when somebody dies and you uh, beat something in battle, the person that died does not get any experience points. Mercury Ginny, Sleet joined Mia, and I bring that up, and that's kind of a big reason why whenever I'd fight boss battles, I would want nobody dead, because, well, if you beat a boss and you have a bunch of experience, it's, like, not everyone gets the experience, and normally it's like the weak guy that dies, so the guy that needs the experience most doesn't get the experience points. So, we got Sleet! Uh, drench a foe to drop its attack. So let's see what that's about. Um, Sleet gives you a base plus 12 HP, plus 3 attack, plus 1 luck. Uh, does dam when you use it in battle, does damage plus 25% uh, chance of lowering target's attack by 25%. A lot of percent, percent, percent in there. There we go, that's the only waterfall that has a secret passage through it. I'm gonna cross that out real quick. <laughs> I being still, can't be still, never again. Still a few enemies you haven't seen in here yet that I'm looking forward to seeing. That's like the third time I brought that up because I like, ah! Well, I mean, at least you can see more of these sirens you haven't seen a whole lot of. There you go, everyone has two uh, Ginny now. Um, don't get too used to seeing this happen because a lot of times it's like, oh, I have like four more Urgini compared, comparatively, here's flowers at you. There's no effect when I have a good sleep, uh oh. This one might suck, no effect. Oh wow, that's always nice. Oh cool, they all use them in tax. Happy to see that. Let's see what they can do. Oh, 56, but they are water based, that's why I didn't do a whole lot. Oh, do you see that right there? They flashed a bunch of colors. Um, when that happens, if you if you kill an enemy with the gin that um, uh, will most effective will be most effective against them, um, they'll go like that, and it'll they'll drop double the coins, double the experience, and also have double the chances of them dropping whatever drop they have. I don't remember what the siren drop off the top of my head, but it's something. I can tell you that much. In fact, let's flip back, because there are a few more monsters in here we haven't seen. Yay! It's also nice to heal in battle like Fizz sometimes, because you cannot use the effects of Fizz outside of battle, so we couldn't just use Fizz to heal Ivan or something. Alright, you guys are all dead now. Ooh, we can now use Nareed as well. In fact, there's no way these guys won't all die. So let's use, uh, let's just use Nareed. Princess of the Sea Spirits. Everybody defends. Adorable. Don't do it. If this doesn't work, I'll be very sad. Here's Nareed. She rides a sea turtle with a fan, has purple hair, and uses a giant updraft of water. Oh, wow, really? No way. That <laughs> stupid gear at the very end there. Critical attack, nice. Haven't seen a whole lot of those in this game yet, actually. Gears an all 10 guard, HP goes up by 8, PP by 2, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 3, 184 coin. Go, 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 go. So theoretically, that siren should have dropped double coins. Where did they drop? They dropped crystal powder. I'm very surprised we didn't get crystal powder. Oh no, another one. Well, that's okay. We can bum rush them with all my summons. This should be okay. Everything will be fine. Oh, I shouldn't use it on the center one. That's the one that's most likely going to die after all this. And thankfully, I can skip all these summon cutscenes. This should easily take care of them. Wow. Okay, Kieran should do it. Oh man, oh, Garrett's gonna go to sleep, isn't he? I knew it! No way, I freaking knew it! God dang it, Garrett. Alright, fine. Well, okay, never mind. We'll spar you. Uh, we, since Ivan will go first, we'll use Kieran. And then you could use Ice on you, I guess. We should do them in, anyways, though, so everything should be fine. Good, good. I expect a level there. I'm pretty sure I mentioned before that when somebody dies, or faints I suppose, goes down, um, they lose the ability, or they don't get experience in battle, but I'm pretty sure if they're just sleeping or stunned, even though they, look, they have the same animation for being dead, <laughs> they, uh, they're still, they still get experience at the end of that. I'm pretty sure anyways, I haven't tested that, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Oh, Cuddle, awesome! This is one of the two enemies you haven't seen yet. Let's kill them all before they even have a chance to do anything. Just kidding, I'm sure it'll work out fine. Also, I love that everyone now has an attack gym. Is Mia leveled up yet? Does anyone have a new attack I haven't seen yet? Kirwell, by the way, has the same um, in-battle effects. 
Oh, he's gonna be dead before. Alright. Each cuddle is level 10. They each have 80 hit points. They drop 49 gold and 27 experience points each. They have a 3.12% chance of dropping a sleep bomb. Um, they have poisonous bites in addition to this attack, which has a chance to poison you. And the very last waterfall is the real one. Gosh, gosh dangs it! Move statue. Well, whoever mysterious figures are in here, I'm really trying to slow us down. I don't know how close we are to actually catching up to them. There's so much lighthouse, we're going up and up and up. Ah, he who honors the goddess of rainbows shall be guided to the heaven to the heavens upon wings of fluid grace. So, this is actually the end of the dungeon. However, we have not seen all the enemies yet. So I'm gonna keep battling stuff until we meet the one enemy you haven't seen. Oh, I was really hoping this would be it. Anyway, so I will be B. So I find the one enemy we haven't fought yet. See you guys in a second. Here we go. That didn't take too long at all, actually. Harpy one, Harpy two appears. So these are harpies. They're each level ten. Actually, I actually only had to cycle through like uh, four or five battle scenes to get to these to these little poppers, which is thankfully so because that could have been way worse. The level ten, the harpies. They have 105 HP each. They drop 53 gold and 30 experience points. They have a 6.25% chance to drop an elixir, and they can also use shriek. It's just those extra damage. Flavor text for attacks, essentially. There we go, good to see Shriek. I don't think it has any. It might be able to stun you, actually, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it can't. I hope. <laughs> but doesn't matter because they're all going to be dead next turn, anyways, when I unleash all my summons onto them. Wind of the Mountain, I summon you. That's a reference to a game no one has played. Well, maybe. Alright, if this doesn't kill them all, I will be very shocked. We didn't do any damage last turn, did we? Very f wow, wind's very effective against them. Interesting, they look like wind monsters. Yeah, yeah. Earth is the least effective against them. Typically, earth monsters are the ones that um, have the least amount of earth damage that can be done to them. But that's not always true. Me is level 11 water seer. Awesome. Maximum HP goes up by 7, PV by 4, attack by 4, death, defense by 1, agility by 4, 162 coin. Awesome. Now everyone is in recovery mode. Great. Great! Alright, let's read this one more time here. He who honors the goddess of the rainbow shall be guided to the heavens upon wings of fluid grace. What the heck does that mean? I don't know, but there's a beautiful waterfall. Definitely got stuck here as a kid. Uh, might have had to get help from my neighbor that also had this game. Uh, can we get our Jin back, please? That'd be nice. Let's heal up real quick while we're, while we're at it. Alright, let's heal up. Great. Uh, Isaac's the only one down at PP. Um, Ply is a solution to a lot of puzzles in this, so we gotta use it here. It's really interesting because after Mercury Lighthouse, there's not really a whole lot Ply is used for outside of just healing your own characters. Did that not work? Okay, good, it did work. Take a look here. So Chris is gonna see the waterfall do weird things. I don't know. It's going upwards now! Weird. And just like and just like any other day to me. She gracefully goes up the waterfall. <laughs> Everyone's like, are you kidding me? Oh no! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you think Garrett would also do what Isaac did? You think Garrett would be the one that would clumsily fall in like Isaac did? But no, it's just, it's just, it's just me. It's just Isaac. Good old me. <gasps> Uh-oh. That looks pretty lit to me. This place is lit! Oh, oh. Sorry. Love this music so much. This is the Elemental Stars theme song. Um, I didn't really mention, but Mercury Lighthouse music is actually really good too. So, if you didn't heal all your uh, characters, you're definitely going to want to do so here before picking up the Synergy Stone. Isaac's the only one that has a little pee pee down, but that's okay. Um, it's kind of... Oh! It didn't... Wait, what? Oh, that's right. Because I reset to, uh, go, um... Cause... The reason why this is now fixed is because, remember when I reset? Because I accidentally did that old man couple thing without... Um, I, by, because I accidentally talked to Mia first. Also, those are weird floaty floaties. I don't know why they even have that. Why didn't they just have a bridge? It's because it's mystical magic powers. 
Um, so I guess I should maybe treat this as broken, or I should break it off screen or something. Like that is. Also, something I never mentioned yet, you'll see when I go over this, you'll see everyone shaking their heads. That means they could equip it. If we go over something that everyone can equip, for example, the wooden shield here, you'll see Isaac and Garrett nodding their heads, and Ivan and Mia are kind of indifferent, meaning they can't equip it. So that's a thing right there. How's my shield look? Okay, great. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm quickly safe here for no reason, and if everything's fine. <laughs> Oh, we're actually at 20 minutes. This is the perfect spot to cliffhang. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support is by leaving a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, wow, this dungeon took two episodes to go through. I thought for sure it was just going to take one. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. We uh, examine what happened up here at the top of Mercury Lighthouse. Goodbye, everyone.